Welcome back. Yes, good evening. So, um, yeah, we're going to do some coding first and then do something on 81 Dojo. Um, and ironically, despite all the recent coding streams that had something to do with Shogi, this one will be having a different focus. Um, so, oh, already I'm finding myself needing to switch windows. So let me show you what, um, what I'm looking at. So here uh, is the multivariant stockfish testing queue where um, this is predominantly variants that I'm not working on, or this is predominantly the fairy stockfish um, testing server. Uh, Fabian Victor continues running this. This is wonderful. Occasionally I am still submitting patches and I had a successful-ish patch. And now I'm going to be merging it. So, uh, so here we have Racing Kings. I had this patch I applied to several different variants of chess. Um, so I had this for Racing Kings. I had this for Loser's Chess. Where'd it go? Search Improving. Here, this is a red result, meaning this actually performed worse with the patch than without it. So I'm not going to merge it for Loser's. Um, but then we also have... Yeah, here, giveaway. So giveaway, here's my patch, submitted at a slow and a fast time control. And likewise in Racing Kings, here's the same patch, uh, submitted at slow and fast time control. And these are chronologically reversed, so this is the most recent test. So that's the history of how we got here. And so now we're going to get a coding for Racing Kings and for um, Giveaway. And hopefully I won't mess this up because this is, should be one of my easiest patches ever. But we'll see. Um, okay, so I did CD to Stockfish slash Source. Get Branch dash V. Okay, so the patch in question is Search Improving. Get check out search improving. Get rebase master. Get diff master. And so here we see these are the differences in this branch as opposed to what's on the master branch. Now I mentioned, um, and there's one of these that didn't end up going through testing and didn't need to because Helpmate is not a competitive game. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind. Uh, sorry, I don't have my alert working, but I appreciate the support. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Time Zombie. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Um, so I'm going to merge this minus this change. Uh, so to do that. What file was that even? This is search. Uh, so we're going to stick this change back in. Compare it again. And yeah, this is what we desire to merge. So very cool. Uh, and search CVP. Get commit amend. Simplify this. Uh, short time control, long time control, long time control. So we have giveaway and racing kings. So let's. Uh, here's result number one for the long time control. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Um, just trust me, I'm clicking things in my browser to extract this information that I'm typing in the terminal. Um, it's really the same thing that you'd see in the browser if you were to go to variant stockfish um, dot, uh, org. 
So this is the slower time control, and then they had the faster time control results as well. So give away that this num these numbers, and here's the URL where you could find the results, and separately. Um, Let's see, where'd it go? Uh, do, 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 oh, here it is. Here's the other set of numbers. Um, copy, paste. Um, give away racing. <laughs> Racing things. Uh, search improvement. Um, mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Um, so to test this, make clean, and then we run this test, and it makes sure that every test position executes successfully, and that the baseline test for just normal chess um, executes looking at the same number of positions as the official Stockfish does. Um, So, uh, yeah, let me take a look. Oh, very cool. So this, uh, your support is showing on the stream. I'm glad to see uh, you're able and interested. And goodness, uh, I hope I never pressure anyone into feeling that they ever have to support. I know, like, the nature of this entire beast that we stream on this platform is that it very heavily incentivizes people to do certain things. Um, and I've tried to avoid like coercion in any possible way. That's like why I run my channel the way I do, uh, without all the flashing like channel points and other things. Um, I have as much of that as possible disabled just so we can focus on um, what this is. Ah, I see. Yeah. That's more than fair. And yeah, that's... If I had some way to shut that off altogether, I, I certainly would. Um, I know many platforms do show um, ads, and I completely forgot that was something that this platform does, even though I've seen them before. Um, get check out master, get merge mob branch, get branch delete, and I know like afterward I do upload all the content to YouTube and later to LBRY, but um, I've got that like, so when I produce the highlight then I push the button to export and just all the rest of it automatically kicks off. But then you don't get the live interaction thing. So, um, yeah, this platform does add some value in that, like, you're able to find people and interact with them. I have many complaints about the platform, but they do some things pretty well. So, uh, that's why we do here instead of other platforms. Um, although I have to put up with the ad thing, which I really am not a fan of. Uh... Yeah, right. Yeah, if I had some committed project, um, and if it were larger than just me and something more constructive to aim for, that would be awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, very cool. Yeah, pie chess is pretty great. Um, 
Yeah, very nice. Uh, let's see. I know I predominantly, when it comes to uh, software platforms, I cut my teeth in like contributing code and such. Uh, um, and if it's not something I can contribute code for, I generally I don't yet have a policy on that. But um, so like yeah, just whatever extent I can do, contribute code and test and uh, give my efforts that way, I gladly do. Uh, and PyChess.org is a great site, and they have a good policy. Um, yeah, it's funny because I actually am a patron on the Lee Chess site as well, um, and that's that kind of arrangement. Like I get to interact with the developers on that team, and I myself could have developed a fair deal of code, um, and just access to those guys to help clear my mind and offer professional um, advice and stuff is fantastic. Um, so in a way it's like paying for a work study or something, I don't know. Um, so this passed tests, so we're going to push it. Yeah, they have all kinds of wonderful tools they test with and stuff. Uh, it's it's a great learning experience. Um, so let me switch back to the browser. Uh, so we can see if I can find my own project. It's here somewhere. Here it is. I found it. All right, committed eight minutes ago pushed up to the cloud and then this is going to um, kick off the Travis CI pipeline. So this is the other build process. Uh, now while that build is building um, I should also uh, I'm gonna do one bit of administrivia on my Linux box. So let's switch back there. Um, so I've got to shut off another process for one second so that I can do my deployment. So this does the optimized build that I'm going to go run up in the cloud. I don't have a full CI pipeline for every step of this. Like, If I'm going through the trouble to write code and have to commit it and put all that commit message and stuff in there, Doing this one extra step, even though it's a bit time consuming, is something I'm still manually doing because I don't have like a good place to automate this. Um, I'm not going to rent an entire like Travis cluster or something to do a build that I can just do on my machine. And I don't know how to like freely, um, emphasis on freely there so that like other developers can do the same thing for free on some cloud somewhere and not have platform specific problems. I don't know how to get that automatically building and push the build product up to my cloud instance. My cloud instance is a, basically a toaster. Um, so while that's cooking I'm going to also pull up my bot's TV page and see whether or not it's it's not in the middle of playing a game. Um, so, uh, and if it were to be in suddenly in the middle of playing a game, that would kind of like what I'm about to do here would entirely disrupt its game because I don't have that working perfectly either. So I've got maybe three nines of uptime or something with this, minus whenever the platform just can't keep me connected. And the platform being uh, this here site. So, yep, I redeployed my bot. The previous deployment had a build that was built May 11th. Today is May 13th, so I'm building a lot more frequently than I used to. Um, it's kind of weird. 
Ah, what am I coding? I'm actually submitted a very, very minor patch to Stockfish. Uh, does this link me back to my own? Yeah, here's the best way for me to get to my own repo is through some other website. That's great. Um, but yeah, the patch is removal of like four lines of code in favor of just setting a flag to false. Um, so this worked well for anti-chess and for racing kings, and it doesn't matter whether or not it works for the helpmate solver. Um, this did not work for loser's chess, and I'm bewildered that this patch worked for two variants and not for a third. But I'm going to take this anyway and continue being bewildered until I figure it out. But um, I'm not going to give up on it just because, like, I don't know, the tests tell me I should. <laughs> I'm not that smart. Yeah, so here's the thing that's left the same in the middle. I'm not happy about that, but um, I've tried, like, various expressions here. I tried what triggered this all is that upstream they changed this formula here. It's more complex now than it used to be. And so I tried plugging this here formula into all the above expressions, and, like, um, it failed everywhere. And that led me to wonder, like, okay, is it even good that I have this expression before the go-to statement? Um, so. <laughs> oh, no. Is it Rust or something? Like, Rust can be bewildering. Uh, I mean, it offers a structure. Rust is exciting, but, yeah go to yeah having a conditional and then having a go to after the conditional it's perfect we just need to like throw duff's device in here somewhere and we'll be we'll be set but uh in my in fairness um there is a go to here somewhere close by um i didn't just randomly add a go to for the heck of it now I feel terrifically stupid. Um, where's the go-to? What the hell? <laughs> there is a go-to here, okay? <laughs> Gosh darn it. I, I had to flap my mouth. Uh, there was, under some circumstance, this go-to moves loop definitely was a thing here. And it was like evaluated like right after this, and I'm losing my mind because I can't find it right now. Where'd it go? <laughs> here I am trying to be like all instructive about here. I'm so methodological, and it's not even there. We're gonna find it. Okay, search.cpp, right? Go to moves loop. All right, so here, step six has this. Step seven, my code has it. But there was another one, and it wasn't far away from here. Step... Did they remove it? Does this explain, like, why that... I don't even know what's going on anymore. But, yeah, the, the lines of code that follow this are terribly bad for anti-chess and losers chess um and they might be okay for racing kings but i don't know and like now everything's in question um this has a return statement now so yeah there used to be a go-to somewhere around here <laughs> that's wonderful uh your os prof forced you to label each line in an os simulator and then use go-to's so you can, can simulate concurrency I see. Wow. Um, geez. At an undergrad level of study, I did study OS. Um, we did not do any such thing like that. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, this was undergrad. Oh my god. There's nothing else they could have spent their time teaching you. <laughs> okay, well, that's 
that's most unfortunate. Um, but yeah, uh, so getting on topic quickly for a second here. Um, hooray, it all works. It deployed. It's great. We're done coding. Maybe. Um, yeah, the bot's up. It's live. I could challenge it to a game and watch it beat me unless I mess something up. So, Racing Kings, uh, 15 seconds. Oh, can't even rate it if I wanted to. So here we go. We're going to see if it works. Um, oh, gosh darn it. Didn't mean to do that. All right, it works. It's proven its point. The machine's going to outlive me now. Um, okay. Very cheeky, Stockfish. Okay, you win. Well played. All right, so it works. Um, yeah. All right. All right, well, that's coding for today. Um, it always ends with my defeat. I'm not sure if I should be proud of or afraid of it. Um, so, yeah. Coding is fun-ish. <laughs>